Hey guys, it's Vivian, and welcome back to another episode of my Hawaii series. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my weekly penguins. And uh, just a, a quick disclaimer b before I start, I just want to recognize the fact that penguins are obviously very, very, very easy. You can do about 15 minutes. And I thought I'd just quickly make this video to show you guys how I do them. And, um, you know, hopefully... Um hopefully improve uh, the way that you do them because they are worth it I get about 34k divination XP every week that I do it and uh, that saves you know that saves about 40 40 50 minutes of my time so um so that's why I do it every week so to begin basically what I do is um, I use the website called world 60 pengs I'll leave a link to that in the description below and um, Basically, it'll come up with obviously your website, and you've got the um, you got the name of the place that it has, and there's well, firstly there's a there's numbering from one to eleven, and uh, it's got the the place of where it is, the where, where the penguin is, the type of penguin, the amount of points it's worth, and then you've got the green writing underneath, which is the most important part. So when you want to use this website, you don't really want to take much notice of the um, of the actual of the writing, like for example, uh, near Tisnod or Keldegrim or Tyrus Catapult or Gnome Stronghold, for example. Basically, you want to make sure you pay attention to the green writing rather than just relying on the um, on the purplish writing, which is, for example, near Tisnod, and uh, the green writing says cannot leave the grassy island north of near Tisnod. So basically, you want to pay attention to the green writing because that tells you exactly where the penguin is, and um, I also like to make sure that I know what the penguin looks like. For example, it's there's um, obviously the bush, rock, toadstool, and um, cactus, and there's also a ghost penguin. But I'm not actually sure how to um, how to find out. You know, I don't know how to spy on those ghost penguins just yet. So also another important tip is, um, for example, you know, if you've got a penguin that's worth one point and it's on Karumja, let's say you really don't know where the hell it is. Um, it's just roaming around like a little a little bitch. You kind of just do all, normally I just teleport away and just leave it. If it's worth one point, you know, don't worry about it. But if it's worth two, it's probably worth it. Um, so I recommend, you know, just leaving leaving the penguin if it's worth one point and you can't find it. Um, and then just if it's worth two points, then I'd probably recommend just having a look for it. With your inventory setup, um, pretty much what I do is I just obviously go on the world60pengs.com website and I look at all the locations and then just find the teleports to. Um, find all the teleports to where I need to go and I really do recommend using a house of tell like the telly to house as you can actually um, use the portals in there you can use your glory mounted on the wall um, you can use the home kind of base <coughs> where the um, where the house is for example um, for example you teleport to the house and go out the um, go out the home portal sorry about that <coughs> and you can also you can also use the chip tablet um, aspect of the teleport to houses which is really really helpful as well and also using the World 60 Pengs friend chat is also a very very efficient way of locating penguins that are worth two points and you really don't know where they are and as you see on screen it's coming up shortly or it's on right now I actually went to Port uh, Phasmatis Port Phasmatis I think it's called and I couldn't find the penguin and um, so I jumped in the friend chat and asked them and I found it straight away so that's also a very very useful tip but generally as long as you're in World 60 you really don't need to use the friends chat now once you've made your way down all of the um, all the first normally eight, eight or nine penguins. Um, the last two, so the ninth and the tenth penguin, or just the tenth penguin, will either be in the desert or the wilderness or some other um, idiotic location. But normally, I like to leave the wilderness uh, penguins to last, just you know, for the obvious fact that um, I normally bank all my items when I go to the wilderness. So when I've when I found all the other penguins, I like to bank all my teleport runes and all my um, all my amulets and all my all my good stuff that I use for teleporting around. Um, Gillen Gypsy Hawk. So um, you know, if I die, it doesn't really matter. So once you found all your penguins, to get back to the Chuck, the uh, good old fella, um, what I like to do is I, t I like to teleport to mobilizing armies. I use to I use that spirit tree to teleport to the battlefield of uh, Kazhar Gypsy, and then I write, I like to run east through the battlefield and then run straight to Chuck. That's pretty much how I do penguins. Um, it's pretty pretty simple, guide. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to leave me a comment below, and I'll be sure to respond to that um, very very quickly. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.